In this video, I am going to show you how to use jump to do confidence intervals for proportions and to test hypotheses for proportions. To illustrate how to go about doing confidence intervals and hypothesis tests for proportions, I'm going to use this data, which corresponds to 150 students that were selected at random at the University of Tennessee. And of these students, 91 were born in Tennessee and 59 were not. To get the confidence intervals first, I go to Analyze, Distribution, and I select born in Tennessee as the Y variable and number as the frequency. When I do that, I get this result. To get the confidence interval, I need to go here and select confidence interval and I can select uh, any one of three options that are there or uh, another one that you might want to put by hand. I will select 95% confidence. You look carefully right here we see that we have the confidence interval for the proportion of students that are born in Tennessee right here. To illustrate how to go about doing a test of hypotheses for proportions, I'm going to use the same data. To do the hypothesis test for proportions, I go to the Analyze menu and again select Distribution. Here, I put the variable whether they're born in Tennessee or not here, and the number is the frequency that we have for each one of those uh, categories with yes or no. When I do that, I again get this result. Now, I go to the drop, man drop down menu and instead of selecting confidence interval, I select test probabilities. Now, let's assume that, let's assume that somebody before they saw the sample they conjecture that in this population uh, somebody was equally likely to be born in Tennessee or not so the hypothesis will be uh, 0.5 and uh, 0.5 and I want this to be a two-sided test which means that I will reject I will reject the hypothesis of 50-50 if I have too many Tennesseans or too few of them. So I go ahead and click Done. And here I have the test. I have two types of tests. The one that we're using here is the Pearson chi-square test. We can see that the p-value here is very small, less than 0.05 which means that we reject the hypothesis that the proportion of Tennesseans and non-Tennesseans in this population is equal. Notice that in this example, the data was given in tabular form. Namely, we told you the number of people who were not born in Tennessee and the people who were born in Tennessee. The data could have been given to us in this form fashion as 150 rows. If that is the case, we would proceed in the same way, except that right now we would not have to put anything on the frequency box. This has been a video by Tech Aided Teaching. 